The free agent moves just keep rolling in, and one of the top remaining guys on the list is no longer available. Zach Miller, the former Oakland Raider tight end, is now a Seattle Seahawk. Good move. Yeah, interesting, too, that we just assumed all along that Namdi Asma would go, but Zach Miller would be the guy the Raiders really focused on retaining. And at one point, somebody told me it was 97%. Well, I guess we got the 3%. 3% yeah. yeah, so he lands in Seattle. And a really interesting situation there. They'll obviously try to beef up the offense, but what does this say about John Carlson, the guy who's been the starter there? So maybe he's on the outs, maybe he moves into a backup role. Hard Seems to say. Seems like we had heard Carlson was going to step up every yeah. Every year the last few years and it never really happened whether it was his fault or the offense we don't know also Ronnie Brown signs with the Eagles as Philadelphia just keeps loading up although maybe not as big of a signing as it may sound like yeah last week the defense had a little fun now yeah. we turn towards the offense so it's gonna be interesting to see how, how they use him probably in a third down role a backup role little Sean McCoy you know Brown was a very accomplished receiver in Miami that's I think where he fit in best and maybe a Wildcat guy. They've got multiple players on the field who can who can throw and run the ball. Brown, a big name, but really wasn't as effective yeah. last year. We'll see how he fits in there. The Saints signed one of the biggest remaining free agents, literally, Abreu Franklin, the nose tackle from the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah, he's coming off a poor season. He was great in 09, really earned that franchise tag. I thought last season his play really stepped off, and you could tell because Patrick Willis wasn't making nearly yeah. as many plays. And what they needed him to do in, in New Orleans is the block for guys like Jonathan Vilma, let those linebackers flow freely. So. You know, Sean Rogers is there, Abreu Franklin is there, Cedric Ellis. Pretty good trio right there, I think, that can split up the plays evenly. Drafting Cam Jordan, too, that defensive yep. line much improved. And the Minnesota Vikings made a move, releasing Bryant McKinney, their longtime left tackle. You know, talking to people in Minnesota, I think the handwriting was kind of on the wall last week. When they went on after Jermon Bushrod, people kind of went, hmm, what's yeah. going on here? And so they, when they didn't get Bushrod, I think they went to their plan B, which is Charlie Johnson, big drop. McKinney showed up overweight, uh, a lot of things happening right there. He's been a si uh, symbol of the failure up in Minnesota, I think, never quite fulfilled his potential, they had to cut bait. People remember from a few years ago when he was a pro bowler, yeah. but really hasn't been the same player since. That is a look at the latest happenings around the NFL. For the best coverage of all things NFL related, make sure to check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com.